Oops. Da, da, da. E, e. Everyone, everyone spell, everyone should join. Okay. All right. So I have something here and I want to do one more thing for my last two slides. For my last two slides, oh, you know, I still have the background locked. So for my last two slides, uh, I'm going to just take this image out and I'm going to remove the rest. So something I want to do, I want to take this, I have this background locked. I'm going to unlock it and actually delete it. I want this slide. I want to delete the rest of these. I'm going to zoom out because I want to add like that Ken Burns effect to this last slide. I want to zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. I want to take this, rotate it properly to zero degrees, and I'm going to start it about, start about there. And I'm actually going to slide this all the way past to the other side of the slide. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to duplicate this slide. So now I'm on slide seven and on slide seven, I'm going to bring this all the way back in and adjust it so that you see more of the sunset. Okay. Let's make that just a tad bit bigger. So just a tad bit bigger. So it overlaps. Okay. And let's tap that up just a little bit. Come on. All right, so now let's save. Okay, I don't want this last slide, so I'm going to delete that. So now I have all the slides I want. I have my map, I have my slide, and I want to bring that in. I have my map, I have my slide that's going to show all of the images, and then I'm going to go through each slide one by one to show different things. All right, so I don't, again, I want these slides to play as, as one. I want them to automatically play and transition without me having enter any interaction. So the first thing I'm going to do is select slide two all the way through slide seven. Going over to the format and animate button, I want to add an effect. The effect that I'm going to add is called magic move. And yes, thank you. So magic move is now going to preview what it's going to do. So let's set the transitions for these slides. And again, you test, test, test your slide transitions to make sure that they work the way you want them to work. So let's start with slide one. Slide one, I want a dissolve transition. It's going to have a duration of two seconds. It's going to start automatically and it's going to have a delay of point half a second. Slide two, it's going to have magic move transition, a duration of two seconds. It's going to ease in, ease out. It's going to start automatically and this delay is going to be set at three seconds. So it doesn't zoom by. Slide three. Slide three is going to be magic move, a duration of three seconds. Transition automatically with a delay of five seconds. Slide four. Magic move, duration of three seconds. Start automatically, a delay of five seconds as well. Slide four, or slide five, sorry. Magic move, duration of three seconds. Start automatically, a delay of five seconds. Slide six, magic move, a duration of three seconds. 
start automatically a delay of two seconds. Trans uh, slide seven. Magic move. Duration of three seconds. Start automatically a delay of five seconds. Five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. And let's go for three seconds. Okay. Alrighty. Save my work. Now, this one sort of didn't want to work before, but let's just try this slideshow anyway. All right, everyone, keep your fingers uh, crossed and let's choose play. All right, doesn't want to start. I'm going to click. And there are some text that I forgot to put on this that I could add. But what I would like to do first is ask for questions. Question. Conrad. Question. PC mode. Uh, you can export out to PowerPoint. Actually, let me show you something. Uh, you can.